Hello and welcome to WPLMS updates. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to update WPLMS modern theme. So to update the modern theme, you need to first log into your WordPress website. Go to the dashboard update section. In the update section, you will need to click on check again. So once you have clicked, you will see that the updates for the VIPE plugins, the VIPE course module, custom types, shortcodes, assignments, dashboard, event on and front end plugin will appear along with the update of the parent WPLMS theme. So firstly, we are going to update the plugins. So event on and uh, Plugins like EventOn and Visual Composer require a license key. So if you have the license key, you can auto update it. Otherwise, you'll have to manually update the plugin. So we have selected the plugins and then we click on update plugins. So as you can see, the plugins have updated successfully. So next we again go to the dashboard update section. And we select the theme and click on update themes. So as you can see, the plugin update is notifying you to update the WPLMS theme to latest version. So now our theme has been updated successfully. If we click on home, we should be redirected to the WPLMS about section. So this page displays all the new features that have been added in the latest update. So once we have updated the theme, you need to go to the settings permalink section. And here you will see the course permalinks that we have added in the latest update. So like curriculum, activity, members, admin, submission, statistics and events. So when you click on save changes, the permalinks will save and you will see a backslash in the beginning of the endpoints. For child themes like child one point system or one instructor or one page the setup concludes here but for modern themes since it overrides the templates we still need to upload the new modern theme so we'll get the wplms underscore modern dot zip file which is the modern which is the updated modern theme from the theme package and you'll need to log into your web server via FTP or cPanel and go to the root of your site and open the WP content folder. Inside this, we have the themes folder and we can see the WPLMS and WPLMS modern, both the themes. So we're going to zip this just to keep a backup. And now we are going to upload our WPLMS modern dot zip file from the theme package. So once the upload is complete, we go to the cPanel and we delete our existing modern theme and we unzip. Our so we already have a backup file just in case we need to revert back to the older version. So this concludes the complete theme update. So if you have made any changes in the functions.php of your modern theme, you will need to copy them again. So which you can simply do by copying the whole functions.php file in the modern theme. If you now reload the dashboard, you will see that the template notification is gone. 